Hi, my name's Christine L. Conroy. Welcome to Happy Stuff and Fluff. I know you don't usually get a video from me on a Monday, uh, but I wanted to come on today to let you know that I have just become a creator for peace and I wanted to speak to you urgently. I wanted to speak to you about the um, es escalating conflict in the Ukraine. I'll explain what Creators for Peace is in a second. Um, but you know, I know you know, because the video that I did on doom scrolling, uh, many of you emailed me and told me your thoughts about what was going on and are obviously very disturbed by it. This conflict has been especially terrifying, of course, for children. They are in shock and desperate for safety and hundreds of thousands of people are on the move searching for shelter and safety. And half of these refugees are children, half of them. And I, as I'm sure you do, when you see these images of children, think about your own grandchildren. And I certainly think, well, if heaven forbid anything like that should happen to my grandchildren, I'd like to think that somebody would step in to try to help them. Now, I know many of you have done so already. Um, I mean, families on the move need access to basic necessities like shelter, food and clean water. And the children, of course, are also being traumatised by the violence that they're witnessing all around them. And they don't understand. They don't understand what's going on. Um, and so Creators for Peace um, has been set up by a company called, uh, a group called VidIQ. You won't know them if you're not. Um, they teach how to do YouTube, basically. Um, but it's a group of social media creators coming together as one voice to, you know, for once put social media to good use and to get the word out to ask for your help. Now, I mean, despite the, the operational challenges and security challenges, UNICEF is on the ground working around the clock in the Ukraine and of course the neighbouring countries to try to provide support for displaced families in need. I have just donated and I am now asking you to, to do the same if you haven't done so already. I'm going to leave a link below this video, it's entirely safe and all your money, well you'll read about it, is going to its intended place so you don't need to worry about that. I'm also going to leave a link to an article um, that I want you to read because it's not just um, anonymous people that you see on the TV screen. These are people telling you their stories and I think it's inter it's, it, it's something that you need to read. So I'll leave the link to that. Um, I've been on YouTube for four years now and I have never asked, uh, had to ask for donations in this way, never felt um, the urge to, but I think now it's time we all stepped up. And as I say, I know many of you have done that already. Please, please, if you can, donate. Now, obviously I'm a YouTube channel, I'm a tidgy, tidgy, small YouTube channel, so I can't get the word out to an awful lot of people. So I'm also asking you to share this video too, to anyone you know, and everyone you know, on your Facebook pages, on your Instagram pages. Um, you're going to be seeing the logo of Creators for Peace everywhere. At least I hope you are, um, but please, uh, do this for me and let me know that you've done it. I would be extremely grateful. Of course I would. Um, yeah, I'll stop talking now. I don't need to say any more to you guys because I know who my audience is and I know you're all right in here with me. Okay, I, there will be a normal video on Thursday, but I wanted to jump in because you'll have uh, all week uh, to have the opportunity during create, Creators for Peace to donate and help the cause and get the word out. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye bye.